Hey tribe, today I want to talk to you about opal. I have this opal ring here that I wear all the time. I also have some rough pink Australian opal here. Not too much to look at. And then I also have some rough Mexican fire opal here. It's rough, but it does have an iridescence to it, just like, you know, the polished ones. A few sparkly pieces in here. Really, really pretty. There's a pretty piece right there. That's just rough, straight out of the ground, and chopped up Mexican fire opal. So I'm doing it particularly this month because it is the first stone for October. So all you October people, shout out for your birthdays. So opal is a hydrated amorphous form of silica. It is deposited at a relatively low temperature and may occur in the cracks of almost any kind of rock. So the name opal is believed to come from a Sanskrit word, upala, which means jewel, and later the Greek derivative of the word apalos, which means to see a change in color. Please excuse me if I mispronounce those words. I do not speak fluent Sanskrit or Greek. Precious opal displays that iridescence, that beautiful, pretty iridescence look that you see in jewelry, but common opal does not. So metaphysical properties of opal, think abundance, creativity, passion, purifying the aura, shifting energy patterns, renewal, acceptance, love, all that stuff. Chakras that it best works with is the heart chakra. It's an emotional stone and it reflects the mood of the wearer. It intensifies emotions and releases inhibitions, i.e. passions. Encourages both freedom and independence. It enhances cosmic consciousness and induces psychic and mystical visions. It stimulates originality and creativity. It's just a stone of light, purity, and play. It's a stone full of high vibrational energy, amplification powers, and a perfect sense of balance. It not only kickstarts your creative heart, your passions, but can also bring renewed hope, good karma, bright balance and regulation. Opal can also be a good luck charm. That's actually why I love wearing my opal ring all the time. And it's just so beautiful. Why not? So it's a good luck charm because it's good at attracting wonderful things into your aura. Opal is said to be really, really good for your immune system. It can help your breathing. It's good for your eyes and renewing skin cells. It brings balance and harmony and hope. So Opal is always going to be pushing to bring you complete balance and harmony in your life. It is going to encourage you to not shy away from yourself, but to have the strength and courage to look deep inside. It's also a good amplification stone, so it can take the tiniest thought or feeling and shine a light on it so you can see things more clearly and see the bigger picture. It takes the thoughts, feelings, and amplifies them, sending messages out to the universe, helping you sweep out the junk that may have been clouding your vision and heart. It's going to encourage you to let go of any old patterns, old wounds, old beliefs that are no longer serving you, but also help you to take those lessons with you without being attached to the pain. So that's really cool. It's known as the Hope Stone and a stone of pure positive change. It won't lead you down any paths that will set you back, but instead it's going to help you work through emotional challenges so you can balance your feelings and find your full potential waiting on the other side for you. So being a stone of light, Opal is also connected to higher communication and the spirit realm. If you're looking for angelic connections, connecting with the spirit realm, or wanting to strengthen any psychic gifts you have, Opal can definitely help you do this and much, much more. So the best way to use Opal is to wear it. Get you a piece of jewelry of Opal. The price range on it, I'm going to say it's going to be 
medium to expensive. It just depends on the setting you get it with. So if you get a gold setting, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. However, you can get a sterling silver setting, necklace, ring, whatever, earrings, and it will be less expensive. You can get you some rough opal. That's going to be super cheap. Okay. Rough unpolished opal is super cheap. You can go on Etsy, find you a dealer there. But I highly recommend for the best way to use opal is to wear it. Because when directly placed against your skin, it's going to send its high vibrations directly to wherever they're needed. It's not just a pretty piece of jewelry, it actually has, you know, a very handy use metaphysically. You can get a bracelet that sits against your pulse so it learns the rhythm of your heartbeat. My favorite thing is wearing my ring because I am always looking at it and I'm always it's always catching my eye. That's just my preference guys. But I don't know. I wouldn't say it's an essential stone but it's a very handy beneficial stone to amplify spiritual energy to clean my crystal jewelry first off i will get jewelry cleaner and rub it on there but energetically i have a selenite slab that i set my jewelry on at night and i feel like that cleanses it energetically because when you wear things every day your jewelry can collect energies throughout i recommend cleansing your jewelry periodically, maybe once a month. I recommend highly going and getting you some opal jewelry. That's all I have for today, guys. Love and light to you all.